Hello YouTube fam! This is just going to be a short video which will show you how the power crash works. Let's get to the main point of the video right away. The frames that you need to activate the armor of the power crush is 7 frames. Let's see it in action. Now in this example, Reina likes to use her 10 frame string if it is her turn, which is usually the fastest move that anyone can throw. You want to try to have enough frames, even if minus, to activate your power crush after your attack. In this example, Elisa uses her 1-2 string, which leaves her at a minus 3 after which she will throw a power crush. After her 1-2 string, let's start counting the frames. At the very start, Reina will start to activate her 10-frame move. After 3 frames, Reina only needs 7 more to activate her jab, while Elisa is just starting to use her power crush. Now after 10 frames, Reina's 10-frame move reaches Elisa, and at the same time, Elisa's power crush is activated, therefore absorbing Reina's jabs and hitting her. Obviously, this is just one example of when to use a power crush. There are still many types of situations where you may use your power crush successfully. For example, if you are being pressured and you find a small window allowing for seven frames of activation, go for it. Also, as with all moves, do not be very predictable with a power crush since your enemy might use a low or grab to counter it. Here is another example, so if you do a move that is minus nine, you might think there is no way that you should use a power crush here, right? But if you observe that your enemy likes to use a slow plus move like this one, after your minus nine on block move, you can use a power crush in this situation. Like, comment, share if you want. Thank you and goodbye.